Now we're joined by the mayor of Fort Lauderdale, John Seiler. John, welcome to the program. Um, I, myself for me. and a lot of our viewers, we know Fort Lauderdale very well. Mm -hmm. We know those high rises all the way along the beach. Is anybody still there, like on the 30th floor? <laughs> I tell you, there, there's a few people still there, but most people have heeded the warnings. Most people have followed our advice, and, you know, we asked for the barrier island to be evacuated. And really, we've seen incredible cooperation from our neighbors. I was out there early this morning. I was out there late last night. And it's the quietest Fort Lauderdale Beach has been in years. So it's, it's a different environment. What proportion of the city do you think has left? Well, I would tell you, uh, they, the county asked for mandatory evacuation east of US-1 Federal Highway, which is about 25% of our population, 25 to 30% of our population. So, um, you know, we probably are seeing about 15, 20% of the population, I would say, has probably either moved west or moved out of town. A lot of people I talked to earlier in the week because of all the notice we had, a lot of people went up to North Carolina, Georgia, you know, Atlanta area, things like that. But we've also seen a lot of people just simply move west into some little higher areas of Broward County. Uh, most of Fort Lauderdale on the east side, as you know, is either the barrier island or low-lying areas. And we're very concerned about the storm surge. Sure. How, what's your gas situation at the moment? Well, the gas situation has, was problematic over the last couple of days. It's kind of seemed to have eased itself a little bit. You know, Port Everglades, which is just a, a, a half mile from where I'm sitting now, supplies the petroleum for 18 southern counties in Florida. And so generally gas is never an issue. But as you pointed out, it, it has been an issue over the last couple of days. Uh, but we feel it's, there's enough gas out there now and hopefully people aren't driving today. We're asking people now, go where you need to be, hunker down, hmm. let's ride this storm out. We feel we're ready, we, we feel we're prepared. And uh, government at all levels has really done yeah. a good job of getting people I wanted people to ask you organized. about that. I, I did want to ask you about that because when you get these huge disasters strike a state, the governor of the state is very much uh, kind of uh, not on trial, but it's a test. How do you think Governor Scott is doing so far? I know he's a Republican. I know you're a Republican. Uh, absent politics, how's he doing? Uh, I think he's doing a good job. I, I think we're seeing cooperation at all levels. We're seeing the city, the county, the state, and the federal government. I even had the White House reach out to me uh, a couple of days ago asking, you know, what do we need? So we're seeing cooperation all the way from local government on up. And look, uh, you, you never want to see a storm politicized. You never want to see a storm turn into a partisan political battle. Right. And that's not going to happen here in Florida. We are going to focus on the safety and security of our, of our neighbors and the safety and security of our visitors, and to make sure we get our economy back as soon as this storm moves on. Your Honor, our thoughts are with you. We know that uh, we know Fort Lauderdale very well, and uh, we hope you come through this in good shape. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. Okay. Thank you. I hope to see you down here soon. <laughs> if you're not careful, I'll come.